Hi, um, I'm Brie. If you're new here, so am I because this is my first Leo. The neighbors are moving in upstairs. My cat, we got him a new scratcher from Aldi and he's just like living his best life and that's fine but honestly I'm trying to make YouTube videos so it's kind of not fine. Anyway, this is my first YouTube video. If you're new here, so am I. I'm Brie. I don't have an intro because I have no idea what this channel is going to be about because I actually have no idea what I'm doing in life. <sighs> Maybe there will be a YouTube video about turning 26 and having no career, being laid off during COVID, kind of hating my body, and um, not knowing exactly how, what the next five years is going to look like because my five-year plans were absolutely incinerated by COVID. All that to say, this is my second time trying to film this YouTube video. I wanted to do like a Monday swimwear, high-end luxury bathing suit haul. Um, after losing my job because of COVID, I started doing more Instagram things. My background is in museums, so I was kind of familiar with squares and and spaces and curating things that go next to each other and writing captions like, like you would a wall label and three to six seconds of attention and I probably lost your attention already. Um, anyway, I started doing the whole Instagram thing and I thought it was really great and I started getting a lot of bikinis because um, I am a curvier woman who's pretty comfortable being on camera because I'm sort of modeling, I guess, locally. Um, I filmed for two hours, I had a whole setup, I moved the couch, I was like super pumped, ready, everything was staged, and then I started editing. And I saw my body, and I saw like everything from every angle because I set up two cameras, which is just like self-sabotage, right? I set up two cameras, and I'd like to think that I'm a very confident woman for the most part, um, but I saw myself on camera, and that shit wrecked me. Um, and I'm still, like, feeling those feelings, right? Uh, I don't think that I'm, you know, a very big woman, I'm not a very small woman, I'm a very average woman, I'm a size 12. But I saw my body from different angles, when I'm bending over, when I'm standing up, when I'm laughing, and I saw those things and I was like, that is not perfection, I don't want it. So I deleted most of the footage because I could see, I thought my teeth looked bad because I would get up in the camera and like talk really closely. My boobs, my boobs are so uneven and it's my biggest insecurity and you could see it fully in camera. There was no posing to hide that my left tit is like a full cup size bigger than my right tit. And that was all a lot. And so I just said, nope, I'm not gonna do this. YouTube's not for me. I'm not perfect, so I can't do it. And that's bullshit, honestly, like. So I'm giving it another crack. This is a really long intro, but it, I'm just letting you know like where my headspace is. Um, and I'm going to do another YouTube review, or I guess my first YouTube review, my first YouTube video about um, bikinis. <laughs> so without further ado, let me get into the real intro and chat with you about some of my favorite bikinis from one of my favorite brands, Monday Swimwear. So Monday Swimwear is this woman-owned brand um, started by two best friends, Natasha Oakley and Devin Brugman. I hope I'm saying her last name right because that would be really bad if I weren't. Uh, I'm so sorry, Devin, if I say your name wrong, but um, they're just two powerhouse women, so beautiful, so sweet, so kind. They um, started with a bikini a day, which was a blog where they like reviewed bikinis and that just like speaks to my soul. Um, and then they branched out and um, you can find their YouTube channel. I think the last post video they posted was like years ago, but they would travel and review bikinis and they started Monday Swimwear, which is their bikini brand.
we're gonna get into the try on haul. I have a lot of their pieces. Um, I have everything from like skirts and shirts and pants and shorts and one pieces, two pieces, you name it. I even have a mask now, which is like pretty cool. Um, but I'm gonna try on some, one of their, some of their maybe older pieces and a couple of their newer pieces from the spring 21 season. Um, and I'm gonna let you know how I feel about them, especially as someone who obviously is a little uncomfortable in her body right now. Okay, I love this suit. Um, let's get into the nitty gritty of the suit. It comes with pads in the boobs, um, but honestly, they're not helpful. I feel like they're too small and they kind of fold over. There is a stitch in the center. There's stitching in here. So that way your boobs don't, but they still fold up in their respective pockets and I don't like that. So I just took the cups out and there's still a ton of support. There's a built-in bra here, like a little shelf bra. Um, I'm not sure, like for me, this works for my boobs. I'm anywhere between like a 38C or 38D because my boobs are two different sizes, I think. Um, but for me, this suit works really well. There, are there not? There. There's no adjustable straps. So, you know, keep that in mind when you're buying it, that there are not adjustable straps. Um, this one is definitely gonna cover this like fatty pocket here, which is great. But sometimes I just want to show a little more leg and a little more hip and extend. So I would have loved a kind of higher hip on this suit. It's, I'd say it's medium coverage. Most of the suits that I like to wear are cheeky, but this one is medium coverage. So that's a thing. Um, this print in particular is sold out, but they have a couple of other prints that you could purchase um, if you're into this style and fit. I'd say this is really good for time with family, you know? Like I have bathing suits that I can wear to the beach, like a really fun beach or to like a day pool. Um, and then I have bathing suits that are better when I'm around mixed company or a lot more family and I don't want them to see my entire ass cheek, like the entirety of my cheeks, then I will opt for something a little more conservative and I feel like this suit is very conservative um, but still very flattering. So it offers a little bit more compression and I feel like it smooths things out, especially because it is a pattern, it hides a lot. So this suit is brand spanking new. Um, this is their Barbados suit and ivory crinkle. Um, first of all, their ivory color is one of my favorites. It's classic, it's beautiful, it's timeless. Um, and then the crinkle is also one of my favorite new additions to, um, I don't, I wouldn't say it's a colorway, it's texture. I have a lot of feelings about it. I really like it. Um, I think it's just looks expensive because it is. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of support in this suit that I did not expect. Um, one of my favorite suits, suits from Monday Swimwear is the Palma set. Um, it's just a string bikini, which I love because I think string bikinis are super flattering. Um, and this is like a, a twist on the string bikini. So you still have the thin straps, you still have the thin straps and the triangle shape. However, you have... Okay, so my new desk just came in the mail. Um, by in the mail, I mean this guy just knocked on my door to drop off the desk. So I'm gonna keep filming in just a second. Okay, I'm back. I have no idea where I was at in this review. 
but I'm just gonna keep going with it. So I love material. It's an ivory crinkle. It's to die for. One of the key features I think about all of Monday Swimmer's bikinis is their little gold details um, and gold hardware. I feel like my review just got so disjointed because those men just showed up at my door. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> Next. Next suit. Next suit. This is the beloved Palma. I love this suit to death. To death. Um, so you still have the gold hardware, the gold details here on the side. Um, of course, this is a fully functioning tie. So um, I know people are really afraid about the ties on the sides, um, but I think that makes your suit more adjustable. So this is, this means that you can have like, I don't know, full room to move this suit however you want. If you like a low rise bikini, if that's your jam, you can pull it down. If you want it more high rise, that's your jam. Like me, hike that thing up your butt crack. Like you can do that. It's very cheeky. Like, just know your your boat your booty's gonna be out. It's fully adjustable. Like I I feel like all of us struggle with getting the perfect fit in our bikinis and one way to alleviate that stress is having a bikini that is adjustable. So the reason I love string bikinis and that in particular like triangle, the classic, you know, top, tie on the top, tie in the back type of bikini is because you can make your band tighter. You can hike this baby up and pull your boobs up a little higher. You can tie the strings on your hips a little tighter so that way your bathing suit sits higher on your hips. Like there's so many ways to adjust the string bikini so that way it fits your needs and that's one of my favorite things. This is my last suit, and it's one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. Um, there's a lot of support. Again, you're not you're not getting the adjustable straps, but you're getting really thick straps. Um, and this pleating on the bust, that detail is just it's just stunning. Um, and then that pleating detail is carried around to the back, and you have a thick, thick band underneath. Um, and that band just is like really supportive, but also um, it ties in the back so it's adjustable. And I'm wearing my all time favorite, potentially, I know I just said the Palma was one of my favorite suits, but this is also my favorite non adjustable bottoms. I can't remember their name, but it'll be up on the screen. And um, they're just, they're super high, and this ivory fabric feels a little bit almost like neoprene, so it really holds its shape, and I love that about it. When it gets wet, it's not see-through, but it, it almost feels like it gets a little firmer, so when I put it in place, it stays. Absolutely love that as well. This is absolutely top, top, top five favorite Monday swimwear suit. I'd love to see them do more with this pleating gathering detail because it's just so beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cut it there. I don't have an outro because I have, I don't have an outro because I don't know what this channel is gonna be about. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be interesting <laughs> enough, like I'm being honest. And I wanted you guys to see what these bathing suits look like on someone who's a size 12 and hopefully it's sort of relatable because I know that when I was looking for bathing suits or clothes or shoes or hair products or anything I want to see someone who um, maybe I could see myself in a little bit and feel free to inform me what you want to see from me I have a lot of bathing suits like Frankie's bikinis, Monday swimwear, um, Riot swim, um, I have a lot of like Instagram bathing bikinis. I'd be open to doing more try-ons if that's what, you're, that's what you're into. I also work with a couple of clothing companies so I could potentially put on some clothes for that. 
feel free to like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you want to see, tell me if you want to see any more bathing suit hauls, or if you want to see clothing hauls, or if you want to see how I'm trying to transform my office slash dining slash desk space because it looks like trash right now, and I'm probably going to make a quick little video about that too. So um, yeah, thanks for coming to my first YouTube video. I hope you liked it. I hope it wasn't too crazy for you, and stay tuned for whatever's next.